To make a frontal section through the heart, what we want to do is cut the heart into an anterior half and a posterior half. And to do this, we can make an incision from the base to the apex, making sure to get both of the atria in the cut. The wall of the heart is made up of three layers. The outer layer is known as the epicardium. It's the visceral pericardium. The muscular wall of the heart is known as the myocardium. And then the smooth, slick lining of the chambers is called the endocardium. This is the right atrium. This is the atrioventricular valve on the right, it's called the tricuspid valve. And we can see it anchored down by the cordy tendinii. to papillary muscle, this chamber is the right ventricle, inside of the right ventricle we can see the moderator band. The moderator band helps to distribute the message for the heart to contract to the anterior papillary muscles. The pulmonary semilunar valve isn't visible in the plane of this cut. This is the interventricular septum. Dividing the right side of the heart from the left side of the heart. And right away, it's very noticeable how the left ventricle is much more muscular than the right ventricle. The left ventricle pumps blood out to the body, where the right ventricle pumps blood to the nearby lungs. Taking a look at the left side, this area is the inside of the left atrium. This is the left atrioventricular valve, called the bicuspid valve or mitral valve. The cordy tendinii. Papillary muscle. You can see the ridge-like trabeculae carnii. The blood in the left ventricle exits out of the aorta through the aortic semilunar valve. 